Hi friends. So yesterday you brainstormed about your favorite season and I worked with a group of kids. Boy, all of them loved winter and thought that that was the best season ever. Did you love winter too? Maybe you love spring or summer or maybe like me, you really, really love the fall. So today we are going to take the brainstorm you wrote yesterday and we're going to turn it into a strong opinion paragraph, okay? So yesterday you should have created your brainstorm about your favorite season. You should have written the name of your season here and then you should have given three reasons why this season is the best season. Let's go ahead and take a look at why I chose fall. Of course, as a teacher, I chose fall. So, my favorite season was fall. Reasons why. I made it short and sweet yesterday. Number one, new school supplies. Number two, new students. And number three, get to teach again. Now, none of those are full sentences. Today, we're going to turn our ideas into full sentences. We're going to elaborate about our, um, our reasons for loving a certain season. Okay, I could write it like this. My favorite season is fall. I get new school supplies. I get new students. I get to teach again. Blah, so boring. I would like you to think about interesting ways to write and convince others that the season that you chose is the best. They are going to read your writing or hear your writing when we share it, and they are going to be persuaded to really like the same season you do or to really understand why you love that season. So I am going to begin with an expression. I'm going to say... Yippee! It's almost time to go back to school. And then I'm going to talk about fall. Okay? So here's the way I'm going to open my writing. Yippee! I always start with a capital letter. Yippee! Exclamation mark. Now that is not going to count as one of your five sentences, right? That's kind of cheating. It's too short. Yippee! Um, School is almost back in session. School is almost back in session, period. So maybe you say something like, whoopee, there's snow falling from the sky. Winter is my favorite season. And then you give all of your reasons. Or perhaps you could say something like, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is fall, or my favorite season is spring. You could use an expression like, um, like yippee, or you could ask a question. Yippee, school is almost back in session. My favorite, again, of course, I'm going to start with a capital letter. My favorite now, I can always look back for the correct spelling of season because it's right there on your paper. Season, right? On your mind map. My favorite season is fall. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell my reasons why I like fall so much. Here we go. New school supplies. Hmm. Instead of just saying, I like new school supplies, what could I say? Picking out new school supplies at Target is one of my favorite things to do. Or I could say, picking out pencil boxes, new crayons, and folders at Target is one of my favorite things to do, which of course happens in the fall. Picking out... Picking out new supplies, new school supplies, like pencil boxes. And of course, I'm buying pencil boxes for you guys, right? I have them here. So when you get here, you'll have a pencil box, like pencil boxes. Pencils and 
and folders. Now I always like to go back and check my writing and make sure that it makes sense all the way along. Then if I have to fix an error, I have space below to do it, right? So let's go ahead and read it. Yippee! School is almost back in session. My favorite season is fall. Picking out new school supplies like pencil boxes, pencils, and folders. Oh, I forgot to finish my idea. Is a blast. Is a blast. And I've always felt that way, even when I was a little girl. I loved to pick out new school supplies. Okay, but what's special about being a teacher is I get to get new students. You get to have new friends, and I get to have new students. So the second, the second sentence, what can I say about new students? It is always exciting when new students walk in the door. So I'm going to start with a capital I. It is always exciting when new students walk through the door. And it is every year, and even on Zoom, I was so thrilled to meet you. It is always exciting when new students walk through the door. Students walk. Now, please do not concern yourself with conventional spelling every time. I know how usually how to spell words, but sometimes even I need to ask and look it up. But um, do not concern yourself too much with the spelling. You just do the best spelling you can, listening for the sounds that you hear in the words. That's wonderful. It's always exciting when new students walk through my door. Through my door, period. Okay, so now I have one, two, Three, I get to teach again. Let's see, what could I say about that? Um, teaching a new group is always fun. Teaching, I-N-G spells ing like king. Teaching a new group is always fun. Is always fun. Fun, period. Now we need a wrap-up sentence. And a wrap-up sentence often restates the original point of what I'm writing about, right? Which is fall being my favorite season. So let's take a look. I'm going to read it again, and I'm going to think of a sentence that we could end with that would wrap the whole opinion paragraph up in a nice little bow. Here we go. Yippee! School is almost back in session. My favorite season is fall. Picking out new school supplies like pencil boxes, pencils, and folders is a blast. It is always exciting when new students walk through my door. Teaching a new group is always fun. Now I'm going to add a wrap-up sentence. Something simple. Fall is the best. Fall is the best. Remember, it's your opinion. And so you can say which is, which is the best just about what you think is the best. Not everyone is going to agree with you, and that's okay. Fall is the best. And then I'm gonna throw in an exclamation mark at the end because I want the person who reads it to read it with enthusiasm. So remember, when you've finished your writing, read it out loud to yourself one more time. I have to do that so often because sometimes it looks like it makes sense, but if I don't read it again, I don't catch little errors I made, little words that I left out, or maybe I phrased something incorrectly. Read your work again. I can't wait to hear your opinion paragraph about which season you most prefer. Go ahead and get writing. I'll see you tomorrow.